are welcome on board to today's Bible study. Wherever you are, either you are listening to us through the radio broadcast or you are watching us through the social media. Venerable Adeyemi Ogumbeyi is my name. By God's grace, I'm not I'm the anchor man for today's Bible study. I'm not alone in the studio. I have with me by my right hand side the venerable Sunday Olumuewa Jewola. Daddy, you are welcome on board. Thank you, sir. Bless you. How was today's service in your church? We bless God. God really moved. Hallelujah. Here with me by my left hand side. I have with me Mrs. Obigbeson from Milola. Mommy, you are welcome on board. Thank you, sir. Good evening. How was today's service in your church? It was fantastic. Oh, great. Uh, listeners or viewers at home, you can reach us if you have any question burdening your mind by sending your text message or WhatsApp us on this number 081. Four seven one nine four nine one two. Again, zero eight one four seven one nine four nine one two. Let us pray. Righteous Father in heaven, we thank you for this moment of grace. Thank you for this opportunity to study under your feet. Your word is yea and amen. Open our spiritual eyes. Illuminate our hearts. Prepare every participant to be adequately blessed. Let every closed door in marriages be opened. Let there be transformations and transparencies in our marriages. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The theme of our Bible study that we have been considering is God winning formula for marriage, love, and respect. Please turn with me, if you are with your Bible study outline, to chapter 11, page 22. Chapter 11, page 22. The subtopic that we want to consider today is openness. And our text shall be taken from Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 to 25. Daddy, please read. Thank you, sir. Genesis chapter 2, we read from verse 18 through 25. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Now out of the ground the Lord God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was his name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept, he slept took one of his ribs and closed up his place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because he was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. Thank you very much. Uh, let's also read Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two work together except they agree? Thank you very much. Our uh, aim to show that when we love and respect our spouse, we make rooms for openness. Introduction. Openness in marriage is a basis, or let me say foundation or bedrock for covenants. 
So, openness and agreement is very, very vital in marriage. The covenant of marriage is based on both parties being exposed to each other, open and unashamed. The openness, truth, and being naked and not ashamed liberates in marriage. So, openness in marriage is very, very important. When you are married, there should be no secrecy in your marriage. Uh, let's go together on the discussion guide uh, for today. Question number one goes to uh, Daddy. Divide what we call openness in marriage. Thank you, sir. Father and God. I haven't consulted some dictionary and then to look for the meaning of openness. Openness in marriage. In marriage is a free access without any restriction. A situation where the wife has free access and unhindered access to the husband. So also the man has free access to his wife. Free access. And in another way, in a situation, in a kind of marriage where there is no secrecy. That is, no one is hiding anything. Do you know, sir, that uh, the general saying that he who has nothing to fear mm -hmm. has nothing, to, nothing hide. to hide. Yes. That's it. Yes. So, if you, if you, that is it. To say that you have free access, whether in the room, in the sitting room, in the public place, in the church, in your working place, you, you have free access without any restriction or ban in marriage, in, in movement. Okay, free access without any restriction. Without any restriction. Okay, mommy, from your own point of view, from your own perspective, uh, is it the same thing? That um, uh, openness in marriage also means uh, uh, free access without any bias or any restriction. Thank you, sir. Yes, it's the same thing. Being open means being transparent. You must be transparent to your spouse. So what my father said is the same thing as being transparent, being having free access. Your, your spouse, you must be open to your spouse. Your spouse must know everything about you, your past, your present, even your future. From your own uh, perspective, what are the dangers in not giving rooms for openness in marriage? There are many dangers right. that we cannot even mention it all. But let me mention a few. One, separation. Okay. That is if there is a, a problem in marriage or if there is a lack of openness, yes. it will bring... When there is no openness in marriage, in you marriage? just be living like cat and rat. Divorce. Okay. okay. Because, because okay. Psalm 11 verse 3 says, if the foundation is destroyed, yes. what can the righteous do? Hmm. Okay. Three, they will produce bad children. Oh, bad children. Because their behavior, not being open to each other, hmm. will affect those children. And the charity begins, begins at, home. at home. Then, it may, it may cause depression. Okay, depression. Especially on women, wives. Because when there is no love, when there is no openness, it means there is no love. There is no true love. So they will be meditating, thinking, and it may cause this sick, it may cause sickness. Sickness or illness. Yes. Okay. Uh, the doctors call it depression. Depression. <laughs> depression. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, our father, uh, venerable Sunday Jawola, uh, do you want to ship in anything based on the? Uh, what are the dangers in not giving rooms for openness in marriage? Well, yeah, thank you, sir. Mommy has said it together with what you have said, my sir. But I just want to add two vital points. One, emotional disturbance is also a danger inherent in the situation where there is no openness. Mm. Emotional. You will see, another one is that transfer of aggression. Hmm. If you see a woman who is not who, who is having problem with who is, who is having issue with her husband, when she gets to her working place, you just see she'll be fight, she'll be fighting, she'll be just 
fighting people. Mm. So transfer of aggression is part of the dangers inherent in the marriage that, that has no openness. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Let's go uh, straight away to question uh, number two. Uh, that question goes to uh, Father. Uh, do you agree that love and respect in marriage uh, gives room for openness? Yes or no? And if it is yes, discuss. And if it is no, I we want to hear from you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, our Father in God. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Even the question you have asked, if, if I'm not a priest, ask any, any Christian, even ask any Christian-minded person that question, the answer will be yes. Okay. And But let me just say that I will just illustrate the marriage where respect and love permit. Like a, I, an illustration, a man can be liking with the head in, a, in any part of the body. Yes. Whereby the woman is the neck. Sir, the head, the, in, in, uh, on the head, you have various things. You see, you have your eyes, yes. you have your hair, yes. you have your nose, nose is all these five sensitive the tongue, organs are there. The so, let me tell you, a woman must know that the head is the identity of any marriage. The head is the identity, identity of any marriage. Of any marriage. Yes, that okay. means that the husband yes. is the identity. Okay. And we see now, I believe, in the, unless these people who are just uh, clamoring for the feminine system, <laughs> you know, once a woman marries, yes. she drops the maiden name. Hmm. Once the man, the, the, the man of God says, I have I declare husband and wife, immediately she forgets all what she's bringing, the identity and hmm. everything. She forgets about it. Okay. And that's, how, that's why when Paul was, when Paul was writing, Paul said, Woman, respect your husband. Your husband. Then Paul said, Husband, man, husband, yes. love, love your wife. You see, yes. the, Bible, the, the Bible scholars, hmm. they believe that once a man marries a woman, mm -hmm. he takes the grace of God to continue to love her. Hmm. Sometimes the love will be reducing. Paul now said, Please, man, instead of your love to be reducing, let your love be increasing. Mm -hmm. Love your... But God didn't say, woman, love your husband. Paul said, respect your husband. Because once woman said, I love you, hmm. the woman is loving the man. Hmm. So, the second is, uh, because of her time, the woman is saying, it's like a neck. If the, if, so, that means that the man must love, must not maltreat the neck. The neck. Because once the neck is broken, the whole body is broken. So women at home, you are the neck. Yeah. Why the man is the head? That carry the, the head. Your your husbands. So therefore carry the heads very well. Yeah. Uh -huh. They should carry us to where it is peaceful. Yeah, it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. So women carry your husbands. <laughs> so we are. It is peaceful. <laughs> the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Right? He said, husband is the head, why the wife is the neck. And then we can't separate head from the neck. And B2, we can't separate neck, neck from, the, from head. the head. So they are uh, interrelated. Interconnected. And interconnected. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. So, Mommy, do you have anything I want to ship in based on that question? Our daddy have said it all. Okay. The answer to that question to me too is yes. Okay. Because if there is love, there will be respect. And when there is love and respect, there will be openness between the spouse. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's go to the question number three. Uh, that question uh, goes to you, ma. That, uh, and they were both naked and not ashamed. Explain this in the context of the subject matter of this study. That they are both naked and they are not ashamed. They were both naked and they were not ashamed. God is telling us here that between spouse, there must not be any hidden secret. You must know your spouse. Your husband must know everything about you and you must know everything about your husband. You must not hide anything. You must be open totally. Openness. Hmm. There must be openness. 
and any marriage that is, uh, that there is openness, it is a successful one. It is called a successful marriage. Yeah, uh, 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 daddy. Uh, based on that question number three, that I'm both were naked and not ashamed, uh, in the context of the biblical point of view, uh, we wanted to expatiate uh, on that for us. Thank you. I will only make a, an illustration, sir. Okay. I believe that will draw, draw, drive my point. I will, will help me to drive my point home. I remember when I was in the secondary school, sir. Uh, that's a subject under that's a topic under under commerce. Uh, that is insurance. Okay. You see, on, on that topic, they said, I mean, anybody that wants to embark on insurance, you have to tell the insurance company everything about what you want to insure. Everything. Take for yes. instance, take for instance, you want to embark on life uh, health insurance. Mm -hmm. You have to tell your insurance company the health issue you are having. Otherwise, if anything happens to you, to that person, if it's not incorporated in the insurance, uh, in the insurance policy, policy yes. you will not be compensated. Mm. So also, in any marriage, the concept of openness can never be separated. Because if the spouse is not open to, her, to, to one another, they are heading to the rock. Sir, there shouldn't be any surprise in marriage. Don't say I want to surprise. I want to surprise my spouse. My spouse is it by you are now embarking, especially women. You are now embarking on building of house. It's not a surprise. It's not, sir. It's okay, not. Okay, no, no, okay, it's okay, not. Okay, okay, sir, okay. go on, sir. Go I, I stand sir. to be. I stand to be corrected. All right, sir. But, yes. sir I just we'll look at it. We'll look at it. Yes, sir. Vividly now. Uh -huh. I can't say that it's not a surprise. Okay. I, I believe many people are now doing today that you when you are doing bad day, they will come. They will do that. But you see now, you are building. Mommy is building house somewhere, and mm. the secret God gets to know now, and he's now leaning down and say, "Please, sir, I just yeah. want to surprise. What kind mm. of surprise? Mm. It's not a surprise. Mm. So we shouldn't. That, that's not, that shouldn't be any surprise in marriage. If you want your marriage to be peaceful, everything must be opened. My love, I want to buy a house. The man will say, "What do you want to buy? Maybe we have built one. I want to mm. buy my house. I want to mm. do. So we should we should know that you must be open." That's why in Genesis we are we read Genesis chapter two verse twenty five yes. that both man and the woman they were naked and they were not ashamed. Ashamed. We shouldn't be. Do you want to be covering up? Imagine. Okay, I was wondering why if you are inside the room and your mommy wants to be dressing and because only two of you are there, I want to be using rapper. <laughs> what kind of rapper? <laughs> so that's that hmm. means that there shouldn't be any surprise. A, a, a hypocrisy. Exactly. Thank you. That shouldn't be any hidden thing in marriage. So, mommy, do you have anything to say on that? Maybe from the that. Let me say that they have spoken on the masculine, masculine point of view. Maybe from feminine point of view, do you think that they're going on such a judging uh, project is still part of a, a surprise uh, package? No, it's not a good idea. Okay. You must be open to each other. If you want to embark on a on a big project like that, you must tell each other, ah, my dear. I want to buy a land. Even before you buy it, not, a, not that I have bought it. Before yeah. you before buy you the buy land. Uh -huh. You must tell your husband, you must tell your wife. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says you are one. Mm -hmm. You are one flesh. Even with that place that we just almost three, but still that, how will the two work together? Except they agree. Except they agree. You have to agree you before you embark on any project at home. You have to let your spouse know whatever you want to do. You must pray together on it. You must discuss together on it. You can't just embark on something that will cause problem into your marriage. So I don't support the idea of uh, it is a surprise. I want to surprise you or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listeners at home or viewers at home, you know, uh, daddy and mommy full of um, uh, marital experiences are telling us that uh, Having a gigantic uh, project is not a surprise package, oh. don't embark on that. So let's go to the um, uh, last question. That's a question number four. I think our mommy will answer that one. Uh, then our daddy also will add into that. That um, if there is any, like as you have mentioned in that uh, number three, 
that um, measure some of the merits and the merit of openness in marriage. Thank you, sir. Merit of openness in marriage, that is the advantages of being open to each other. Okay. Number one, it will give you long-lasting relationship. One long-lasting long relationship. Okay. That you live together till death do us apart. Number two, happiness of spouse. Happiness. Both of you will be happy. Okay. You will be happy. You will always be happy. And when you are happy, everything you are doing will be will be going on well, smoothly. Happiness of children. When parents are open to each other, you will be happy, and that happiness too will be in your children's life. Like uh, that proverb says that uh, charity begins, begins at, at home. So whatever that happens to dad and mom will surely have an uh, impact on, on, on the children. On the children. Okay. So that is the advantage that I can, that I can mention now. Okay, before our uh, daddy will contribute today, so like mommy, I just said, he said something like uh, separation, the divorce in the marriage. Is there any difference between the two? <laughs> Thank you. When? There are quite distinction between, the, between separation and divorce. You see, let me quickly give you illustrations, sir. Uh, some years back, I was in one church, and uh, oh, the, uh, the man was living in one room, mm. and uh, the, his wife also living in another room. And before it was daybreak, the woman had died. Mm. We went there, and the woman, the man, ignorantly said, we were sitting down in the sitting room till 11, 11 p.m. yesterday. It was this 5 a.m. when I woke up. Hmm. I went to her room and I discovered that she had died. Wow. You see, everybody that was there, we began to look at her, we looked at ourselves. We now concluded that I didn't be the man and the woman lived and together. Lived together. Probably they would have prevented hmm. that sudden death because the woman would have had cardiac arrest. Hmm. And instead of body, somebody assisted. Many it is not separation. That is what is common, especially in the Christendom today. In many homes, separation. Mm. Separation is quite different from drivers. People, some people, some some men are even cooking themselves. <laughs> he, I had something even in the house of the uh, clergy some years ago. I think you two man you will have had somebody. The man they, they, they are no more in the ministry. The man was cooking. And the woman was also cooking. And the men, and the members of the church on one Sunday they saw the pastor cooking and the woman cooking. And the man the woman said, Ah, she cook. hope there's no problem. <laughs> you see that that's separation. Mm. They, they have separated their cooking, they have separated their room, mm. they are divided. They are looking, they are going on their way parallel. Mm. But they, they are just living exactly, under one room. Exactly. They are just already, no, I, I call it cohabiting. Cohabiting. Okay. Yes. Is that we can call it that's what the, 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 the Western what they call mm. it a contact wedding. Mm. They still continue to produce to, to engage in conjugal, conjugal business, but they are still contact wedding. But as regards the divorce, is a legal separation that is a legal putting an end okay. to their marriage. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, 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 w- once again, uh, we have been considering opponents. Uh, in marriage, and then our father and our, our mom uh, told us that um, openness is very, very important for the couple to enjoy themselves. There should be no secrecy at all. So, as I'm bringing, uh, as I'm rounding off uh, today's program, in conclusion, openness helps in building compatibility in marriage. When you and your spouse openly reveal the facts of your past, present, and plans for the future, you are able to make intelligent decisions. Uh, Like our father said that uh, uh, two heads are better than one. And uh, a tree does not make a a forest. So they will take decision together, uh, and they will feel uh, having God's presence 
in their home. So openness is not on once in a lifetime journey, but one that is constantly repeated in loving and respectful relationship every day of our lives. By and large, where there is openness, future dangers of any kind are averted. So our memory verse is taken from Genesis chapter 2. I will read verse 25. Please read after me. Genesis chapter 2, verse 25. Genesis chapter 2, verse 25. 25. The man and his wife were both naked. The man man and his his wife wife were were both naked. naked. And they felt no shame. And And they they felt felt no shame. shame. The man and his wife were both naked. The man and and his wife were both naked. naked. And they felt no shame. And they felt no shame. Once again, uh, I want to register our profound gratitude to our Father in person of the Venerable Sunday Olumuewa Jewola. Thank you, sir. Daddy, thank you for your contribution. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. And also our mommy in the house, Mrs. Obi Besson Fumilola, for her timely and meaningful contributions. Thank you, sir. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Also, the listeners at home, through the radio broadcast or viewers at home, through the social media, I say thank you. I remain venerable at the Emil Gumbi. For any inquiry, direct them to 081-471-94912. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, you that demands openness in marriage, help every couple to be open to each other. Amen. Let there be genuine love, Amen. happiness, Amen. cheerfulness, Amen. faithfulness, Amen. trustworthiness, Amen. respectfulness, Amen. and godliness Amen. be promoted in our marriages. Amen. Break every yoke of secrecy in our homes and let Jesus reign in marriage that our marriages will be pesetas to be emulated. We ask for peace in every marriage that has been dent by the devil as we have listened to this message. Let your truth set us free. For we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Till next week, remain calm, safe, and be blessed.